This is the closest we can get to Giants baseball this year, or any baseball. Please, just one ticket. Welcome to the something or other tour. We're outside of Oracle Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. For the aliens watching this in the future, we're currently in the COVID-19 pandemic, so games are going on without fans. But we're lucky because Oracle Park is one of the few places where there's still an outside game experience. So we're gonna hang out by McCovey Cove, see if we can peek through the fences a little bit. Sorry I couldn't do more sports stuff this year. <laughs> Camp set up. I got the boy with me. Once again, I've returned. Then we got some chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Dave is a very well known kayaker out here. Looks like he just got a ball from Shohei Otani. The Giants are playing the Angels tonight. Once again, the Anaheim Angels, not the Los Angeles Angels. Got us some chicken. Ready for a ball game. So one of the most well-known aspects of Oracle Park is McCovey Cove. You have the cove out here, you have this walkway along the water, and then they have what they call the knothole gang fence, which is usually you can see through here and see into the game. Unfortunately, they're keeping most of it blocked off so that people won't gather here. But of course, people like me still kind of gather here. Knothole gang refers to the old tradition where young kids would gather by the outfield fence, try to find a knot hole in the fence, and watch the game. So it's a very old school baseball, I guess you could say tradition. So they put the knot hole gang fences back here so you could walk up, look in, see the game. And then of course you have McCovey Cove. Not as many kayakers out here as there used to be, especially in Barry Bonds' days. So at this park, a splash hit is possible. They hit a home run, all the way to the water and you got kayakers and boaters out here ready to snatch the ball out of the water so during the playoffs this will be packed with people packed with boats or whenever Barry Bonds was playing he's responsible for the majority of the splash hits I missed it but the fountain things went off they're doing the lineups number six Anthony it's so good hearing Rennell's voice again. Number 10, I heard. So cool to see behind the old school traditional scoreboard. We're lucky that Oracle Park is one of the few parks where there is somewhat of a game experience from outside. Usually more than this, but we all have to make sacrifices. Cueto's in there pitching. And the first pitch of the ball game is on its way. And it's a call strike. Got the game streaming, but it is behind a little bit. Earlier, a guy from Michigan came by, asked some questions about the park and the game. Said he was a Tigers fan, so I said, I'm sorry. And then I said, but we do have some plaques dedicated to you right here. When we beat the Tigers in the World Series. And then they have a plaque here dedicated to Panda and his three home runs against the Tigers. Oh, I missed my crazy crab sandwich up there. I miss being in there so much. Everyone 
gets excited when Yaz comes up to bat. He hits a lot of them out this way. Some of the Angels players were up in the club up here, so one of them looked at me and we gave each other a head nod. <laughs> Albert Pujols is up to bat. He needs one more home run to tie Willie Mays with 660 home runs in their career. Of course, he bats right-handed though, so the chances of him hitting one over here are very slim. But we could still be out here during sports history. Brandon Crawford's up. He's trying to get home run number 100. As you can probably tell by the sky, there's a bunch of wildfires burning all over the Bay Area. Sort of like when we were here and we got to play top golf. You guys watched that video, right? We had this crazy lightning storm in the Bay Area the other day. Here's some footage of that I took. Oh my God. Unfortunately, as good of a show as it was, it started a bunch of wildfires. I can't believe this is the closest I'm gonna get to baseball this year. We're so fortunate to have such a great ballpark. Very lucky. Although I do miss the stick. Yaz is up to bat. Come on, Yaz. Send one to the cove. Someone hit a dinger. Who was it? Yeah. Woo! Let's go! There it goes. Wilmer Flores hit a home run. Hey, that's Pool Hose's fault. Look at Dave. That's a million dollar ball, Dave. Go get it. Get your gloves. I'm going to bare hand one if he throws it this way. Come on. I'd be upset about not seeing Otani bat, but I was lucky enough to see Otani bat when we did the video at the Oakland Coliseum to watch the Oakland A's fight for the playoffs against the Angels. That's actually one of my favorite stadium videos we've done. I was a little bit worried because they were doing this whole development here where half of the parking lot used to be, and then they made a new bike trail and walking trail, and the Willie McCovey statue wasn't there. But luckily, they have the concept art and it shows that the Willie McCovey statue will be there with a whole new park. They even have space for Bruce Lee. As you can see, it looks entirely different, which worried me, but I guess it's not even close to completion. Can't wait for the Willie Mac statue to pop back up. I'm bummed because this season I had so many cool ideas. I was gonna get a little fancy, put a little more history in my baseball videos, and now who knows about the NFL this season. So I have to take my ideas, put them in my pocket, save them for next year. Brandon Crawford just hit a ball out to the fence. Mike Trout fielded it, fielded it, did it. I'm thankful I at least get this little taste, just a little nibble of Giants baseball this year. It's better than nothing. Keep missing the home run. We can't tell when they're gonna hit them. Guess it was Austin Slater. Oh, there goes Lucille. Yeah! Woo! Come on, Yaz. I think I've said in every episode I've ever filmed here, but I was lucky enough to be at the perfect game. On the fence. There it is. So good to see Hunter at the plate again.
Well, he hasn't tied Willie Mays with the home run record, but Albert Pujols just tied Alex Rodriguez on the all-time RBI list, so that's pretty cool. Another Angels player just waved at the boy. They must be going up here from the new bullpens that are down there. All the way from Reno. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right on. Woo. Yeah. It's funny seeing the Angels players hanging out right there. For any hobbits out there, we've got a ticket booth for you. <laughs> Take me out to McCovey Cove. Buy me some Popeyes and chicken snacks. Root, root, root for the Giants. One, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? What's that? Where's it going? I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, five? Oh, we scored. Wait, did we score? Wait, what happened? I can't tell. We scored around. Yeah, I, I think we did. <laughs> Come on. Let's get a dinger. Brandon Crawford's up to bat. Let's go. Kayaks are ready. I'm ready. Let's go, B Craw. How do they know when the ball's coming? <laughs> One out away from a nice win. One out away. Giants aren't doing so good this year, but it doesn't matter. We still love our boys, you know? Yeah! Victory. Victory shower. Safe sailing home. <laughs> Left my heart in San Francisco. Oh yeah. How was that, boy? That was a fun night. We were the knot hole gang. It's so quiet in Willie Mays Plaza at Third and King. Can't wait till this is over. Please wear your masks, socially distance, so we can go back to normal. Please. Alrighty. That's our 2020 game experience during the pandemic here at Oracle Park, San Francisco, California, home of the greatest team of all time, the Giants. That light keeps going out. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. Wish we could do more. Make sure you check out our sports playlist. We've got a bunch of cool games and stadium tours and things like that on there. Check out our Patreon if you'd like to help us get to more games and on more adventures. There's an exclusive podcast on there as well as a full podcast coming that's free to everybody. More info coming soon. Check out our Instagram for updates, cool pictures, stuff like that. Contests. Poor seagulls. They're probably starving to death. They're not getting the same food they used to get after every game. As soon as this is over, I'll be back at more games. Hope everyone's safe out there. Hope nobody's affected by the fires. Hope it's not too bad. Yeah, let's beat this thing. Get back to the regularly scheduled program. Something another tour for our life. Like, subscribe, share, do all the cool things cool kids do. We're a big deal in Japan. I'd love to come do a soda in a kayak out here. Leave a comment, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. I'll figure it out. I know the Giants suck this year, I don't care. Still love my boys. It felt good to be back at the park. It actually felt really good. <laughs>